guys welcome back to another vlog so today is monday november 27th today and i'm going to be starting a new vlog because you guys have been super curious as to what's been going on with me and i haven't done a vlog in a while so i'm very sorry about my bright pink bra but i just i had to get out of my work clothes so i'm sorry if bras offend you then I'm sorry. We have a little Jackalberry right here. So basically, I just got off work and I have been editing and uploading. I'm still currently editing one video and I've just been kind of, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you being weird, Jackalberry? Are you being weird? <laughs> so a little update on Jackal. If you guys watched my last vlog, you know he had an infected anal gland. Oh, there's the princess. Um, you know that he had an infected anal gland and basically I had to take him to the vet and he was on antibiotics for it. So um, that's what I was dealing with in my last vlog and he seems to be doing better. He's been on the Glandex Chewies for maybe about three and a half weeks as well, which are like little supplements for anal gland health in dogs. And he's been doing better. I've also been adding more pumpkin to his diet for like more fiber. Avril is doing good as well. She is currently chewing on her bully stick, which she absolutely loves those. Um, she has a little bit of a sty on her eye, so we've been taking care of that too. So it's just a never ending, a never ending thing with these dogs. Like there's always something going on with them at all times. I'm kind of falling apart because in my right eye, and you can't really tell, but I have an infected tear duct in there. So my eyes have just been like excessively, well just my right eye has been like excessively watering and just painful. Like whenever I touch right here, it's really sore. So I've just been flushing my eye out with eye drops today and just editing. But there are a lot of new and exciting things happening in my life lately and I figured it would be the perfect time to vlog. The first thing that I want to share with you guys is I got a new phone and I have been kind of wanting a new phone for a while. If you guys remember I had the HTC something or other. It was like a white phone and I absolutely loved that phone. That phone was amazing. And one night I was doing dishes and I dropped it in the sink and that was not waterproof. So the next day I had to quickly go to the phone store and get a new phone right away. And I ended up getting the ZTE Warp Elite, I think it was. And I had that for about a year and a half. And I really liked that phone. I had no complaints about it. The camera was a little broken on it. So whenever I showed anything black on camera, it would look purple. So like whenever I would take a selfie with it, my hair looked purple instead of black. So that was kind of weird with that camera on that phone. And I heard a lot of really good things about the Samsung Galaxy S8. And I really wanted to get it for Black Friday, but I told myself I wasn't going to get it unless they had like really decent sales on it for Black Friday, which they didn't, but I ended up getting it anyway. I'm kind of just doing like a finance plan with them because I didn't want to put the full amount down right then and there just because of, you know, my dog's vet bills and other financial issues going on right now. But, so I ended up getting the new phone, which I will go ahead and show you guys. I've had it for Friday, only about three days now. So this is what my new phone looks like, the Samsung Galaxy S8. It's not the Plus or the Note or anything. It's just the, just the regular plain S8. And this has the infinity screen. So it looks really cool. I like it because it's a lot skinnier than my last phone. So I'm able to fit it in my pocket a lot easier. And it has a lot of really cool features. I will probably do a what's on my phone eventually. But I'm really excited about it. I absolutely love it. The camera is fantastic quality. And that was kind of like a really big selling point for me is the camera. Because I'm, you know, on Instagram. I do YouTube. So I do take a lot of selfies. And I do take a lot of pictures for my social media, so I thought that was really cool. Um, and I just really liked the sleek look of it. Like, I like the infinity screen. I like all of that. So yeah, that is my new phone. And this is the case that I got for it. It's just like a little like glitter, glitter case. And then I just have one of my pop sockets on there. I'm still definitely learning a lot about this phone. If you guys know any like super cool things that this phone can do, let me know in the comments because I want to make sure that I like know how to work this phone and I like know what I'm doing, you know? So yeah, I'm still learning a lot. 
but I really, really like it. So hopefully it lasts me a while. I did also order like a whole bunch of phone cases for it. So I will probably do a, um, what am I thinking of? A phone case collection video when I get all of the cases and then a what's on my phone eventually. I'm sorry, my bra is like super distracting. I'm like, I should probably put a sweatshirt on, but I don't really even care. Oh, I did decorate for Christmas already. I have my tree up and all my little decorations around my house, as you can see. So I only set up my one tree. I didn't put up all three trees this year just because I didn't feel the need to do three of them. And also like since Shane moved in, I have like no room for anything anymore. So I just went with one tree this year and I have like my lights in my window and stuff. So it looks nice in here. I'll probably turn my tree on in a little bit just because it looks, trees just look so sad when they're not lit up. Like, I don't know if that's just me, but they just look super sad. I wanted to tell you guys another really cool, exciting life surprise. And it is actually out in the parking lot right now, which we will probably go out there and I will probably show it to you guys. But I finally got my own car. I am like, I'm so freaking excited about it. And finally, my haters can back the fuck up because literally like, if the one thing I get hated on the most is my tattoos, but the second thing I get hated on the most is how I don't have my own car. Well, finally, I can finally say that I officially have my own car. It is mine, my little baby, my car. So I figured that I could go ahead and take you guys out there and show you my car, show you inside, all that good stuff. And the car I got is a 2002 Chevy Cavalier. So if you guys remember Matilda, she was a Cavalier as well, but this one is newer way lower miles and a four door and she's silver. So really excited. It only has 44,000 miles on it, which is insane. The lady that I got it from, she was an older lady and she never really drove that much. So she bought the car brand new and only put 44,000 miles on it. So to have a 2002 with that low of miles is like almost unheard of, but I'm really excited about it. It should last me like a long time. I did also get a vlog camera mount for the inside of the car. So whenever I do drive, I can safely vlog with two hands on the wheel rather than holding a camera and like getting distracted. So I do have to insert that still. So I'll probably take you guys out there with me, show you how that works, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's like a huge, huge thing that I'm really excited about is my own car. So, oh, it feels so good to take my hair down. Oh, yes. I don't wanna jinx it, but I just hope this little car lasts me a while. I'm so excited. So I will probably take you guys out there and show you what she looks like and all that good stuff, but I'm gonna finish editing first and then we'll go out there. So I am going to march my little ass back into my filming room and bust out this video and get it done editing. And then I'm gonna need more eye drops soon because my eye really freaking hurts. But yeah, that's pretty much what I have done. And then I just have the rest of this to go. Okay, so I am finally done editing. Now I'm going to walk my little booty to the kitchen because I'm gonna have some lunch and then we will go meet my car. Okay, so fun fact about me, I am someone who actually does not like to eat. Like, I don't know, food is just kind of like one of those things where, I don't know, I don't really like food all that much. But the one thing, the one thing that always, always gets my appetite are these babies right here. The chicken and cheese taquitos from Aldi. You guys, if you've never had these before, I don't know what you're doing with your life because these are amazing. So I'm going to make myself a little, little plate here. Like I literally have taquitos like almost every single day. It is an addiction. Um, I think I'm just going to do three. I'm so excited. You can see my little candy cane decoration on my door there. The shadow like makes it look off center, but it's like in the center, but I don't know why. Like the shadow it casts, like it, it looks off center. I don't really know. Here's what they look like. They just come frozen. And I get these from Aldi and I'm pretty sure Aldi only sells GMO free stuff. So I don't know if that makes them healthy or not, but in my eyes, that's healthy. So I just pop them in the microwave like this 
and do about a minute 40. And there they go. Cooking away. Yay! And then I can never eat them just like look how packed my fridge is. Oh my god. I can never eat them just alone. So I always have sour cream with my taquitos. I don't know why this is important, but I don't know. I just figured I'd share with you what my favorite lunch is in case any of you were wondering. <laughs> So yummy. So good. Yum. You can see my eye though. I have a retainer in. Do you see how watery that is? It's been doing that all day. And it like really hurts right here. Yep, there comes a tear. Yeah, whenever I press like right here, it really freaking hurts. So I definitely have some sort of infected something, but. I'm just gonna flush it with eye drops for a few days and hopefully it gets better, but that's what I'm dealing with. Clothes are like this, like not something I can like just throw on. To, like, she looks so out, freaking like, pretty in, in this like, video. Really kinda, oh, I love Morgan. To, like, and these are delicious. All right, guys, so here is the new car. This one's all mine. And I did come up with a name for her. Her name is Paulina. So instead of Matilda, it's Paulina, and she's just a little, little four-door cavalier, as you can see. She's so cute. I love her so much. So this is what she looks like. She's in really, really good shape. No rust or anything on her. The tires are new. The headlights are good, all clean. So this is my car. She's so cute. And that's what the inside looks like. So I'll show you guys what she looks like. Okay, so here is the inside of my car. Here's the front seat, and I do have like a little seat booster. You guys, Cavaliers have bucket seats, and I need a little bit of a boost, so I have like a little seat thing. I have my steering wheel cover back on, and here she is on the inside. So I actually have a CD player this time, which is kind of cool, and just the passenger, and then the back seat, obviously. And there are so many freaking cup holders in here. Like, there's one there, two there, and then two up here, as you can see. Oh, well, yeah, this is my new car. I am so freaking excited about it. I do have a few CDs in the front seat. Uh, this first one, I just have like a George Michael CD because I freaking love George Michael. Like, rest in peace. I cannot believe he passed away. So, I have a George Michael CD. I have obviously the new Marilyn Manson CD in here as well. And then I also have a Alice in Chains CD in here too, because Alice in Chains is, is awesome. And then I also have just my other big book of CDs, but I wanted to put this camera mount in here to hopefully, hopefully it'll stick right there. So I'm thinking that's where I'm gonna put it, just right on the dash. I think you just rip off this little thing like that and then you just put it wherever it's flat like that and then we can just drive and go places together so that way I can drive and you guys are propped I'm so excited yay I finally have this inserted and then I can like move it down or up or wherever I need it so that way when we drive oh my gosh you guys I am so excited for this you guys have no idea I'm so excited so next time like whenever I go somewhere like go to the store or go wherever um, you know we'll be able to vlog places and go without me having to hold my camera so really excited about my mount and about my car and everything so a lot of youtubers they have like these like big fancy vehicles and I just have a little Cavalier and I'm like so excited about it but this is like a big deal to me because I've been trying to get my own car for quite a while now I don't ever have to um, borrow anyone's car again. I don't have to like loan a vehicle from anybody. I literally have my own now So I'm excited. I hope this mount stays in place 
uh, like, I hope it's sturdy enough and I hope it doesn't, like, move anywhere. I got it off of Amazon and it's the exact same one that Chow Bella or Megan, as you guys know her, it's the exact same one that she uses and it seems to be pretty good. So, hopefully this one is the same. I don't know, should we take her around the block, maybe? Just to, like, test her out? I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think we should do that? Let's do it. Let's take you guys for a little ride in my car. Take you around the block here. Let's take her around the block. Hopefully it's not too wobbly. wobbling a little tiny bit hopefully it's not too annoying or too bad for you guys at all take her this way so yeah it took a very long time to get used to like this car and how she feels um because like i said i'm so used to like um taller vehicles that driving a little car for me is just a lot different. And there goes my watery eye again. Alright, so that is the new car. What do you guys think of it? You guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you think, what you think of the mount. Hopefully it wasn't too wobbly for any of you guys, but I really wanted to test it out. So we will have to see, see how it goes when I edit it. But yeah, that's the new car. I'm going to go inside and take a little bit of a nap and I will probably film some more videos later. So yeah. I just wanted to show you guys this because I'm so excited. So, yeah, I'm going to go inside now. <laughs> hey, guys. So, it is about 10.15 p.m. on Monday, the 27th of November. I just finished filming three videos. Shane is currently at the gym. Um, basically, he worked until about 6, 6.30ish. He came home, we made dinner, we ate, we watched an episode of Game of Thrones, and then he went to the gym because I had to stay behind and film a whole bunch of videos because I'm super behind and I have not been to the gym in probably two months just because I've been so busy like with the Halloween season and working and trying to keep up with my uploads. So I have just been a very busy bee, but I wanted to show you guys my Christmas tree and my window at night because it looks really, really pretty. And then I'm going to take a shower and get ready for bed because I have to be to work at 7 a.m. tomorrow, so. Yay, but uh, yeah, so right here is just my window. I just have some white Christmas lights right there with a little stocking. I have my little Santa guy over here. And here is my beautiful Christmas tree. There's what she looks like in the nighttime. I have a seven and a half foot Christmas tree. Like she's ginormous. I know I show it every single year, but I just get super excited because it's seriously so pretty. I love it so much, all the ornaments and the lights and stuff. I love it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Uh, basically, I filmed, what did I film? I filmed a November Favorites. I filmed the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Star Family Collection swatch video. I filmed a tattoos that I wanted but didn't get video. That's what I'm doing right now, having a late filming night. Thank God I have a ring light, otherwise I would never be able to get caught up. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and update you guys and show you my tree. Now I'm going to get this makeup off me and get ready for bed. So I love you guys and I will see you very soon in the next clip.
almost 10 30 it is december 7th today and i am in a fantastic mood and that is because we got snow oh my gosh you guys i seriously love love snow driving in it not so much but i love the look of it it is so pretty it finally feels like christmas so uh today i worked i was supposed to have the day off today but there was a mistake on the schedule so i ended up going in for um, a few hours, I think it was like five hours I worked today, so not like a big, big deal, but, um, and then today at three o'clock, I'm getting my hair done. As you can see, I have quite the roots going on, so that is what I'm doing today, which I think I'm going to walk to my hair appointment just because it is super close by and I don't want to drive in this. And we are going to take the little puppies out. Do you guys need to go potty? you have to go outside? Yeah? Go, go potty? Oh my gosh. Do you have an ear? Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Hey, Mom. Let's go potty. Good dogs. You play in the snow? Hey guys, so it is about 2.30 now. I am gonna go and sit at the hair salon and wait for three o'clock to go get my hair colored. But I just wanted to do my little before and after. So here is the before. 
and I'm gonna be rocking these sunglasses right here. I got these from the Wish app, actually, which I'm gonna do like a full haul and review on the Wish app. So I'm gonna get going now and get this hair colored. Let's do this. And after, my hair is all nice and dark again. It is fully black. I'm so happy. I love it. Shane is currently taking Avril potty and now I'm just gonna make some dinner and hang out for a little bit. So I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hello again. It is about 8.30 at night. Basically when I came home from getting my hair colored, which I absolutely love, it feels so good not to have roots anymore. Uh, basically I just made some dinner watched an episode of Game of Thrones, and then Shane left to go to the gym, and I stayed behind to again edit because I have to catch up on this vlog. I started a couple uploads, but I'm taking a quick break so I can do a quick little unboxing slash haul in this video because what is a vlog without a haul, right? I went onto Walgreens website because for a purpose, if you guys know Nicole Guerrero here on YouTube, she is a beauty vlogger and she collabed with Allure Lashes and she came out with a couple of her lashes with them. Um, a couple like false eyelashes and you guys know I don't really wear fake eyelashes all that often just because I feel like they're a pain in the ass and I don't like the feeling of glue when I take them off. But I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get a few of them from one of my favorite YouTubers. So that is what we are going to be unboxing today. I'm going to be showing you the eyelashes, which ones that I got. And I will probably wear them in future videos. But I just really wanted to own them because I like supporting YouTubers like the Shanxo palette um, that she did with BH Cosmetics. I bought that because I love her. Um, so I, I just like to support them and I missed the first launch of these lashes So when she said that they were getting restocked, I got really super excited. So I'm just going to Cut this bad guy open And we can go ahead and check them out. I also did get some new lash glue Because I have not worn fake eyelashes in a hot minute. So I had to get some new eyelash glue to refresh just start out narrow. So, oh, so the first thing that we have on top is a Godiva chocolate. What kind is this? Milk chocolate caramel. No, nah, no, nah, I'm sad. I don't like caramel, so I'll have to give that to Shane because he'll probably like that. Uh, the next thing is my lash glue. I decided to get the duo lash glue. This is just the uh, white slash clear. I've never tried duo lash glue, but I heard it's really good. So I went with that one Really expensive though. This was like 650 or something for this little thing. I don't know um, Just my little receipt here some bubble wrap and the eyelashes. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so freaking excited. So the two that she came out with are these ones right here. And it's not Allure. It's Eyler. Eyler. So kind of similar. But these are the two that I got. And the first ones that caught my eye are these ones right here. They just look like that. And these are the 143. If you guys are a Nicole Guerrero watcher, then you'd know that 143 is kind of like her saying in her description box, which means I love you in case any of you don't know. Love Nicole Guerrero. Her vlogs are probably some of my favorites and her beauty videos just slay. And so do her Halloween looks because those are awesome. And then the next eyelashes that I got from her are the Casually Glamorous. And these are look a little bit more fluffy and a little bit more natural just for like everyday wear. So those are what those look like. And again, there's her beautiful face. And this is the vlogger series. And I know they did a few other like beauty influencers. Uh, they also did eyelashes, but I only watched Nicole out of everyone in there, so I just got her eyelashes. And they were having a sale, buy one, get one 50% off, so I bought these ones full price, which I believe were $8.99, and then these were 50% off, so these were like $3.99 or something, and then the lash glue. I also receive my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Holiday Makeup Collection. That came a few days ago, and I will be doing a full swatch video on everything that I got, but I wanted to show you guys the packaging 
really quick on this vlog before I end it because I think we're at like over a half hour long. So I got a couple of the lip ammunitions and a few of the liquid lipsticks as well. I'm not going to show you the colors I got because you guys will have to wait for the swatch video for that one. But every holiday collection or every collection that he comes out with, the packaging is always different. And when I saw the holiday packaging, I honestly wasn't that impressed with it but when i got it in person i liked it a lot lot more so without showing you the color i got here is what the jeffree star cosmetics holiday packaging looks like that beautiful amazing glitter that it has i am dying so this is what the liquid lipstick packaging looks like and then here is what the lip ammunition packaging looks like for the holiday collection. It is seriously so beautiful and I cannot wait to show you guys what colors I got. But now I'm just going to probably finish editing this vlog. Um, finish my uploads, take a shower and go to bed because my alarm goes off at 4 a.m. tomorrow and I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> Yeah, I thank you guys so, so much for watching. I know you guys really like my vlogs. I will be starting another vlog here really soon because I am waiting for my annual candle sale from Bath & Body Works to arrive so we can start another vlog off by doing a haul and some other stuff. That is everything that I have for this vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe. But as always, I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys.